Hi, this is Tim Wendell, author of Red Rain, the new novel about the best-kept secret weapon of World War II. That's the cover of Red Rain, and now we're going to see some actual footage from the Navy, an old training film the Navy made in 1944, which I've received a copy from, from National Archives of the Japanese fire balloon and flight. Here it's called the Japanese paper balloon. It was also called the Japanese balloon bomb. Here is one in flight. They were made of paper, four ply paper, four ply in the top, three ply in the bottom. They flew across the Pacific Ocean during the last year or so of World War II. They were the best kept secret because our, our government, the U.S. government, Roosevelt administration, MacArthur's command of the Pacific kept these secret from the U.S. public. They kept them secret in hopes that they would not create hysteria along the West Coast like existed after Pearl Harbor. In addition, by keeping it secret, the Japanese ended the program on their own. That is the Japanese fire balloon. There's one that's landed in a field, an actual footage of it in the western states. You had more than 300 incidents of these hitting in the U.S. Here you can see the path that the balloons took across the Pacific Ocean. They took roughly three days, two nights, to reach the U.S and again we're 33 feet in diameter made of paper because that's the only natural resource the Japanese had that late in the war. You can see that the balloons hit as far north as up in Alaska even the Aleutian Islands and as far south as the Mexican border. One went as far east as outside of Detroit and one actually hit near the Hanford Washington nuclear reactor and actually derailed the Manhattan Project for about a week. Again, here's the fire balloon in flight coming down the land, and this is actual footage taken by the Navy, a film they put together to help defuse them. That's, I'm Tim Wendell, and please read my novel, Red Rain.